What's going on guys, EGSB here, and I've been using the M1 MacBook Air for about three and a half months. So I thought that I'd give you guys an update on it so far for anybody that, you know, was wary of buying a new chip and wondering if it has any performance issues or how the battery life has been holding up, then this video is gonna be for you. And I'm gonna wrap it up by talking about some of the rumors circulating about the upgraded version of this MacBook Air that will most likely come out next year. And I'll get into that at the end of the video. I'm gonna have timestamps as well and one more thing i'm going to be announcing the giveaway of the 25 dollar apple or amazon gift card so without further ado let's get into the video the m1 macbook air was released in november 2020 along with the macbook pro it was apple's first time putting their own silicon into a non-ipad computer and boy were we blown away by the m1 chip the MacBook Air was the same design as the previous iterations. The same outer shell, the same display size, the same flat and minimal design. However, the M1 chip made it feel like a completely new device. Since I've already talked about this and so has a lot of other tech YouTubers, I'll spare you and cut straight to the point. The M1 chip in the MacBook Air is a beast. Editing 15 minute 4K video is not a problem. Editing photos in Photoshop and Lightroom is also not a problem. A lot of things that you may have experienced with the MacBook Airs of the past is no more. While the M1 MacBook Air is very close to being a perfect computer, there are a few drawbacks and cons. First, I'd like to talk about any performance issues if you're curious. As mentioned, the M1 MacBook Air performs really well. In the past, editing 4K video with my 2019 Pro has been a headache and I had a lot of spinning rainbows. However, I'm able to edit in Final Cut with the M1 Air with relatively little problems. A few times I will lose audio in my video and I have to restart the program, but other than that, it scrubs and plays back footage relatively well. And for reference, I use the 512 gig eight core version. Of course, there's no fan on this guy and it performs really well with maintaining a cool temperature. The battery is pretty solid and lasts eight to 10 hours if I'm editing video and 15 to 16 hours if I'm browsing the web. Outside of the chip, I do have a few gripes with the MacBook Air that make it a little further away from perfect. First, I have a LG 4K display that I edit all of my footage and photos with. Unfortunately, it does not have USB-C, so I'd have to use a USB dongle and connect to HDMI. And this sometimes leaves a static image on the screen and it's impossible to use. Sometimes I can shift around the cord, but other times it works when I restart the computer. So I'm not really sure who it is to blame. Is it the computer or is it the display? I'm not sure, but I thought I'd mention it. Speaking of dongles, the M1 MacBook Air only has two USB-C ports, which sucks. I would have paid for more slots, but again, Apple knows that this is an Air device, and I don't think that they want to market it for the pros too much. But please, Apple, add more ports or at least do one on each side. This will help free up space on one side and does not limit me to sticking all my devices into one side of the Mac. Other than that though, the M1 MacBook Air has not given me any problems, and I mean any. The design of the M1 Air is familiar, and honestly, I like the form factor of the Air a lot better than the Pro. It's pretty thin, it's light, and it's easy to carry around when you're on the go. The keyboard is pretty solid, typing scripts or planning out video projects is easy to use with this keyboard and it feels so good to type on. Also the trackpad is pretty reliable too and it has a good and big enough surface area to get a lot of things done. Now let's talk about future updates to the Air.
Now, before I do get into the video, I'm going to kindly ask you guys to hit the subscribe button. I do do monthly giveaways on the channel and I also talk about tech topics and things like that. Don't subscribe for the gift cards, subscribe for the content. And I can guarantee you, you're definitely going to love the content here on my channel. But if you see the subscribe button on your screen, make sure to smash. So those are the things that I've liked and uh, kind of disliked about the M1 MacBook Air. As you can tell, I liked a lot more things than I disliked and in general, it's still a great computer. Now switching over some gears, we're gonna start talking about, you know, the rumors surrounding the upgraded version of this M1 MacBook Air, which is rumored to come out very soon. And I'm gonna be getting into all those topics in a bit. So one, the release date. So starting off with the release date, it's rumored that Apple will be upgrading the MacBook Air sometime this year. So the rumors are stating that it's going to be released during late 2021. I definitely think that Apple is most likely going to upgrade it during 2022. And the reason why I say that is although they've been upgrading the MacBook Airs pretty much every year for a little bit, I think that this year they're going to upgrade the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro will have the M2 chip or the M1X chip, whatever Apple is going to call it. I think that they're going to wait a bit to upgrade the Air so that there's a little bit more of a differentiator between the Air and the Pro. Because honestly, I feel like this year the Air and the Pro have been very close competitors, not a real difference. And you can really save a lot of money by going with the M1 MacBook Air. What I think they'll do is release a MacBook Pro this year with an upgraded chip and this year maybe late this year it might be that they're just going to release a MacBook Air upgrade but it's going to be very minimal morally more of a design change to get it in line with all the other MacBook products or iPad products now moving on to the screen the latest rumors say that Apple is going to keep it at a 13 inch some places did report that Apple might do a 15 inch Air I'm not really sure how much I believe that I do think they're going to stick to the 13 inch form factor but the change is it's going to be mini led that means you get better contrast you get deeper blacks and just richer colors in general with the mini led technology so mini led is supposed to be on the ipads most likely it's going to be on the new iphones and it's going to be on the macbook pro as well so definitely i think apple will do it on the macbook air and this is really good for anybody that does a lot of video work maybe if you're a photographer or somebody that edits or draws on your macbook you're going to definitely benefit from the mini led and other random things that i've heard is coming to the upgraded macbook air would be that they're going to upgrade the webcam so obviously right now it's 720p which is potato quality it's so bad apple definitely needs to upgrade this and the rumor has it that they might upgrade to 1080p but just imagine they did 4k that'll be amazing i don't think they're going to do it but they're definitely going to go with 1080p which is great for anybody that uses is zoom or skype or if you have like a lot of business meetings you're definitely going to appreciate the upgraded webcam so with all that said the macbook air is still a good computer and if you're looking into buying it or deciding whether to upgrade to the new one i think that you should just probably buy it now honestly it's still a good computer over the last three and a half months that i've been using it it's held up really well and i have no fears of it lasting a lot longer into the future so let me know what you plan to do are you going to buy the upcoming macbook air whether it comes out 2021 or 2022 or perhaps you've been using the M1 MacBook Air as I have for the last three months. Is there anything that you don't like about it or any gripes that you have with the M1 MacBook Air? Let me know in the comments below. And I almost forgot the winner of the giveaway will be on the screen somewhere in the area. So if you did win, make sure you contact me on the belt page of my channel. Respond to me, let me know your preference. You gotta do it in the next 24 to 48 hours or else the prize will go to the next giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you guys hit the like button and the subscribe button for more. Peace.